on Judgment Day, Jesus ain't gonna ask you about me. I know you don't mean it. You just need some TLC, THC, get Hennessy. Yeah, that's me. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. Let me know. Let me know. I don't got no makeup on. Like, not a lick. But this lip gloss. And I didn't even put no, um... It's cold here in Florida. I need some moisturizer. I gotta get my skincare together. Because I always have my skincare together. But lately, I have been not doing as well with my skincare. Hey, girl! I'm gonna tap on the screen. Uh... Hello. Um, hey girl. Hello, all of my beautiful queens. Hey girl. 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 Hey girl, and welcome to another video. Listen, if you are new, welcome. If you are not new, hey girl, welcome back. I'm so happy that you are here thank you so much for tuning in to another video listen i am coming to you hot in the ass that's right girl i had to put my seat warmer on and i gotta tell y'all a story about that one day about my seat warmer but i had to put my seat warmer on i also got me my senior coffee i have a 60 um i have a senior coffee don't judge me oh and it's so hot too can y'all see this thing hold on let me see I'm trying not to, um, I'm trying not to slurp. Hold on. I have way too much, um, as usual. I have way too much lip gloss. Y'all ever use some lip products and the lip product that you use make your lips start peeling? Can y'all tell me what that is? That's why I've been trying to keep my lips nice and juicy because my lips have a tendency to get a little bit dry. And then another thing is because sometimes I tend to be dehydrated because I'm constantly trying to keep the water off of my body. When you're a certain weight, you got to keep the water off your body. So I'm constantly trying to keep the water off my body, which makes me sometimes be dehydrated. When you're dehydrated... You tend, have a tendency to get that extra white stuff here. From time to time, I wipe it so much or I clean it so much that it actually breaks the skin and I get sores. And then it looks like it's there even when it's not. You know what I'm saying? This camera, if you don't have it exactly right, it will show all kinds of stuff that's not there. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, hey girl, welcome to my car chat. Um, listen... Let me just let y'all know, today is one of those days where I am here to talk about what's on my mind. This is the Joy Amore Network, the only Joy Amore um, branded, the only Joy Amore, there is no other. And I am here to do what it is that I do. Now, on my car chats, typically what it is, is I feel like... I want to talk to you guys. Look at me. He cannot let me do nothing by myself. He got to be involved. Now, what is he out here doing? It's 40 degrees. And it's 5 o'clock and he drinking coffee. Let's watch him for a minute, girl. <laughs> so, listen, girl. I love y'all. Can I just say that real quick? I love you guys so, so much. More than you will ever know. And I appreciate you guys. I am so excited. Before I get into our car chat, I am so excited about 
going on our royal retreat listen we're going on a royal retreat we're going to be as safe as possible um it's not going to be a whole lot of people that's why i keep it limited um we have a limited amount of tickets the deposit is 250 once you pay your deposit then you will be able to book your room room or at first come first serve first serve but of course the better rooms with the better views and the beach side and all of the amenities, all of that. Um, you know, the quicker you get your ticket or do your deposit, the quicker you get to pick your room. With that being said, I'm super excited. I'm going to be taking care of your parking. It's $17 a day. Not your um, self parking I'm paying for. Not your VIP parking now. Valet parking, yo, yo. Self parking, I'm taking care of. I'm gonna be buying you some drinks when you get there and all kinds of fun stuff, nice gifts and all of that. And we're gonna have an amazing time. If you haven't already, get your tickets. At least say, hey, Joy, I'm planning to purchase a ticket and let me know when you're purchasing a ticket. You can email me if that's the case or if you have questions, there's a, a section on the website <laughs> where you can, y'all, Bay is really, he's throwing me out. Um, there's a section on the website where you can email me if you have questions and or concerns. So I know a lot of you guys have told me that you are going, that you are planning on getting your tickets on this date and that date and this date, but the deadline to get your tickets will be fastly approaching. So you must at least do your deposit. Um, and then you have your payment plan. You can make your payments. You don't have to worry about it. So it's like two payments of 125 after you do your deposit. So it's very affordable. It's like 125 a month or something like that until you pay it off. And then you don't have to pay for your hotel until you actually get there, but you have to book your room ahead of time because they're going to be, we have a, blo a block of rooms. And if we don't book those rooms ahead of time, then once we get there, they're going to be repurposing those rooms. You know, we won't still, you can't just show up and get a room. You know what I'm saying? We have to do things ahead of time. But anyway, thank you so much for all of you. I think what maybe there's been a lot of you who purchased tickets. I don't even know how many tickets we have left, but I do know that it's, it's, it's not a lot. Um, it's less than, it's about a quarter of what we started with. And we only started with 15. So get your tickets for the Royal Retreat. If you have questions about it, drop your questions in my email and my team will get back with you as soon as possible so thank you so much i just wanted to say hey y'all get your tickets we're you know we're gonna do a meet and greet i'm really excited about it i'm gonna be honest y'all like i said some of y'all scared me so i was a little nervous in the beginning but now i'm i'm very excited so i'm looking forward to meet you guys and i'm looking forward to our special guest and i'm just looking forward to i'm more i'm so excited about all of the things that i'm giving away and all of the prizes and all of the um, fun that we have planned. You know what I'm saying? It's like life sometimes gives you lemonade. Wait, life sometimes gives you lemons and you have to make lemonade. And this is kind of one of those situations where I look at the row row and the panel row row as kind of like lemons. But then us finding a way to still connect, to be safe, to have fun, you know, even through all of that, that's what I absolutely love. Now, really quick, let me let you know, if you are planning on flying in, there's two ways. Daytona Beach does have an airport. However, there's two places that you would connect if you want to fly directly into Daytona Beach, okay? And that would either be Charlotte or Atlanta. Girl, good luck with that Atlanta airport. Y'all know what that, y'all know what she gives. Y'all been to Atlanta airport, you know what she gives. Now, if you don't want to do connecting and you want to fly straight fl straight through, your closest place to fly straight through would be Orlando. It's about 45 minutes to an hour, just depending. And you want to try to come as early as you can because we're having a welcome reception. So I just want to give you guys that information just in case you've already booked. Um, I think I'm going to have an information session about the retreat. So y'all stay tuned for that. Let me know if you would like me to do that. And that way I'm not talking about it in every one of my videos. But anyway, onward and upward. So you know what, girl? This week, as y'all know, we're getting closer and closer to the anniversary of my mom. Anniversary. The anniversary of my mom's birth, right? Her birthday. And I'm trying to find a memorable way to kind of like honor my mom and I kind of wanted to film it you know 
So if you guys have any ideas of something that I could do to like do a memorial for my mom, um, she would have been, I want to say 72. Hold on, let me think. Wait a minute. I might be wrong. She might have been 74. Hold on, y'all. She was... So, I'm... My mama might have been 74 this next year coming up, y'all. Um, she So, that's almost three years that I've been without her. But I miss her immensely. But... Oh, I'm getting to the point where I can really celebrate her life. I know for a fact that she would be so happy. And it would be so funny. Y'all, listen. If y'all could talk to my mama, listen, man. Oh, my God. It would be so funny. Oh, my Lord. Y'all think me and Chris is funny? Just watching me and my mama, girl. Oh, my God. Or listening to my mom play the piano or listening to her sing. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to have to play the piano for y'all. But, um, but yeah, listening to my mom playing the piano or singing, it would just be phenomenal to to have those memories. But I have went to my family and I asked them if any of them had any pictures or had anything of my mom. And some of them were like, oh, yeah, we may. But I still ain't seen no damn pictures or nothing or videos or nothing of her. I'm sure they have them, but I haven't seen them. But anyway, if you guys have any special ways that I can memorialize and remember my mom, I really would like to hear about it from y'all. So if y'all could please drop that down below, I would greatly appreciate it. You know, the other day, when I, when I very first started YouTube, one of the ways that I found a lot of information um, about YouTube was in joining different Facebook groups, right? Now, Facebook groups are sometimes, it can be a double-edged sword. Like, it could be good or it could be bad, right? So, I joined this Facebook group and I'm in a couple of them. I don't even remember, I didn't even realize how many Facebook groups I'm in, girl. But I'm in a lot of Facebook groups. And one of them that I was in I can't think of the name of it. But basically, it's about black content creators on YouTube. And there was a young lady who made a post about saying how she was really giving up on YouTube because she had been doing it for a really, really, really super long time. And independent of the amount of time that she had been put in it, that she had put into it, she just didn't feel like she was getting her work out of it, right? Which brings me to to she wasn't getting her benefit right and so this is gonna be a quick car chat y'all pat your weave lady so she wrote a post so i wrote a post just to encourage her because i don't ever like to see somebody to give up on something especially after they put in a whole bunch of work. If I see somebody that has, and this is somebody who she really is working, like she's not one of those people, this girl that I saw on this Facebook post, she wasn't one of those people who are just like, oh, they made two videos and then they're like, oh my God, why haven't I blown up? No, she was one of those people that was working, like really making videos, really trying, really trying to do what they right. And it just wasn't happening for her yet, which is a lot, which happens to a lot of people who do YouTube and that's when I when I was doing YouTube classes when I when I wasn't really doing classes I was doing one-on-ones and sometimes I would do between three and five um sessions with someone I always put more into the session than, than that was paid and I stopped doing it because and this is kind of like one of the reasons why I stopped doing it but One of the things about YouTube is that people often approach something with a strategy without a strategy. When you want to deal with anything in your life, you always have to have a strategy. Now, with YouTube, YouTube is one of those types of things where you cannot do everything on YouTube that you see other people do. Number one, number two, you cannot do everything on YouTube that you want to do. 
YouTube is just like anything in life. You have to approach it from service leadership. And most people don't want nothing to do with this. When I start teaching my one-on-ones for YouTube, one of the first things that I would share with people was, YouTube, I can teach you the mechanics of YouTube all day long. The algorithm, search engine op optimization, understanding your metrics, ranking your video, um, you know, long tail keywords, all of those important metric behind the scene algorithmic things about YouTube that seem so hidden, like no one understands it, but it's really all out there for the most part for you to understand, but you do have to do your research. That stuff to me is mechanical and it's just like driving a car. Like driving a car doesn't take rocket science you just have to learn how to do it. The same thing with riding a bicycle. The same thing with just doing anything that's mechanical. Those things can be easily taught. The difficult part is mindset. The part that I struggle with the most with people is undoing an indoctrinized mindset. If your mind ain't right, it's really difficult for everything else to go stay with me if you think about it have you ever tried to do something right let's say you was trying to put a bed together or put a cabinet together or sew a dress or just any type of activity because and you're tired you're exhausted you had a long day you're stressed out you're trying to do this thing right but for whatever reason, no matter what you do, you cannot make it happen. So you know what you do? You don't give up on it. You set it aside, right? And you may leave it alone for, let's say, two or three days. And then for whatever reason, you're like, you know what? Damn, I need to put, I want my shelf. And you go in there, you're like, man, I want my shelf. I'm tired of waiting on my shelf. Now, mind you, before, it took you four hours and you got nowhere. You go in there in 30 minutes, you got a damn shelf. The shelf is up. The shit is organized. You don't put the stuff in the drawer. You don't took pictures of it and sent it to your friends. What's the difference? Your mindset. When it comes to YouTube, I did not want to do a lot of the stuff that I have done on YouTube. For example, let me give you an example. I never wanted to do anything with me taking my clothes off. Like underwear, bras, lingerie, um, swimsuits. Even though I had confidence, you guys, there was still a part of me that didn't even want to come before you with my arms out or without makeup on. I don't want to be on here without makeup on, right? I still had that mindset of me thinking that I was less than, right? So I didn't want to. I wanted to put up this this thing of okay, I'm I got it all. I'm that big girl that's got it all together. That's why I'm so easily can talk about what not to do is because it's mistakes that I've made myself. But we talking about mindset. Get your mind right. That's why when you go through stuff, it's in the battlefield of the mind. It's not always a physical battle. A lot of the things that you go through is because someone has said something to you that discouraged you, that took your will away, that stole your dream for you. Like, if you tell somebody your dream and the next thing they said to you was, oh, that'll never work. Now you got that seed of doubt. When all before, you was ready to make it happen. You didn't really know how you was going to make it happen, but you was going to make it happen, right? It's all about your mindset. Don't We have to stand guard of our mindset. One of my friends, my new friend that I, I'm so thankful for, says, guard your focus. A lot of this stuff that happens... It comes to mess with our focus and our mindset. I was writing this young lady back that I saw in the Facebook group because I didn't want her to be discouraged because I really wanted her to make it. And, you know, I just told her, I said, listen, I'm a plus size 
unconventionally shaped black woman that's dark skinned with Michelin man arms. I got to almost 100K within the less than 12 months. I was monetized within less than almost 60 days of posting my first video. I worked hard. I did my research. I literally stayed up hours upon hours. I didn't take no lunch break. I didn't take my 15 minute breaks. On all of those breaks, I was searching and doing research on how to do a search engine, how to optimize your video, how to use long tail keywords versus search tail short keywords, how to use your title, how your thumbnail should look. I was learning all of this stuff. And the thing about it is I still don't know in all of this time, half of the stuff I should know. I took at least three to four classes. Some of it, the information was complete trash. There was times that I paid money to go to people's YouTube classes and I knew more already than they were teaching in the class. But you know what I did? I stayed in the class from beginning to end. Because my mama told me, you be a sponge, you chew the meat, you spit out the bone. You never know what you may need from that, right? I worked so hard, y'all. Y'all just don't even know how hard, how many hours, how much planning, how much money, not even the emotional side, not even, this is before even anybody called me a fat bitch or before anybody tried to steal my content or before anybody was making fun of me and telling lies and trying to steal my name and trying to mess up my bag, bro. This was before, and this is just before I got in front of my camera and press record, right? So I'm speaking on, I'm trying to speak life into this young lady's world. Like, no, don't give up, keep going. So she says to me, I watch you, but fat people, well, she doesn't say this, y'all. Let me not lie on her. She says plus size girls are winning now. It's popular to be plus size. That's the reason why your channel is popping. So it's different for me. <sighs> I didn't even argue. I just put in there. I said, you know what? I just want you to win. I'm just trying to help you win. But like, if you already have, if she already has that self-deprecation going on, she already thinks in her mind she can't do this. She's already ready to give up because her mindset is off. For whatever reason, the mindset's not there. No matter what I say, I can't fix her mindset. No matter how bad I want her to win, I she got to want to win too. And it's the same thing with y'all. Like, I love y'all so, so much. And, like, somebody wrote me a letter and it was like, you know, I really, why can't you just be like other YouTubers? Why can't you just entertain us and make us laugh? Somebody else sent me an email, which really pisses me off. Stop using my, my email is for business only. It is not, my regular personal email is not for you guys to send me your disgruntled, ridiculous claims. <laughs> but somebody sent me an email and they were like, we're... You have a great brand and you're pretty and we love watching you, but we're tired. We don't want to really hear you talk. And it just feels like you're beating me over the head. I'm speaking my truth. I'm telling my story. I'm talking about my experiences. I'm normalizing your trauma so that you somehow will see in me something in you that will encourage you to fix it. If you take it as me beating you over the head, that's just weird to me. Like, it don't make sense. And I'm not addressing, you know, that I'm just saying, like, no one's beating you over the head. I'm just saying it's about mindset. And my whole thing is, I'm not just, I know you guys may have found me from a trial hall or a lingerie uh, trial with Chris or something like that. But my life is more than just putting on clothes to be judged. That's not the only purpose I have. That's not what my channel keyword 
my channel is about. My channel is freedom. Period. If you had to sum up what my channel is, it's freedom. I don't have a niche. I'm in my own lane. And I will never forget. I'm not going to say her name cuz I don't want I don't know if she want people to know, but when I very first started YouTube, I reached out to a young lady that I watched that I just I still to this day I watch every one of her videos. I'm so in love with her videos. I love her. There are so many beautiful, amazing women on YouTube. I mean, damn, y'all. Just, I just, just, I mean, y'all know. It's just some beautiful black women that are just kind and feminine and sweet and intelligent and hardworking. I mean, just beautiful. And I just, I loved her and I admired her so and I, I reached out to her and I said, listen, I'm, I am thinking about, because at the time I had made my first video, I said, I'm really thinking about becoming a content creator and I'm thinking about making a video. Can you please let me know what advice would you have for me? And she told me, Joy, stay in your own lane. Stay in your lane. Don't let nobody move you. I was like, okay, cool. Do your own thing. Don't try to worry about what somebody else is doing. Don't make excuses for not for the reason why you're not where you need to be. It's all about mindset and choices. I can make all the excuses in the world. And there are le like reasonable reasons especially for my morbid obesity or you know for the reason why I'm, there's things about myself that I don't like or there's there's pieces of my personality that I want to improve and then I want to get better at and then I want to grow there's so many things that you know I want to be a better woman I want to be a better person and it doesn't matter what I've been through it doesn't matter what has happened to me in the past what matters is how I respond to the things that I've been through and how I respond to the trauma and what I do with the heartache, what I do with the disappointment. You guys, I have, if you think about it, I have been able to monetize my pain. I have been able to take scenarios and situations and aggravations and frustrations and heartaches and disappointment and I've been able to monetize them. Yes, it has come with the cost. It's frustrating. I can't talk about nothing. I mean, listen, I could be talking about apples. And somebody will say, oh, look, see, she's copying me. She's talking about apples. Bitch can't talk about apples no more. I can say, oh, my God, all the women in the world are so beautiful. Well, what about the men? Well, you're just sexist. You don't like men. I mean, it's constant, constant, constant. And if I focus on that, what we focus on will grow. That can be a two-edged sword in the positive of if you focus on all of your positive attributes, they will grow. If you focus on the areas of your life that you do have confidence, confidence in, it will grow. I know it may seem like right now things will always be this way. Listen, that is for me. I always say that because sometimes I go back and watch these videos and I be talking about stuff that I need to hear. And one of my biggest, like, um, what's the word? One of my biggest enemies is thinking about how things will all I don't know why that's where my brain goes to like I'm always gonna be overweight I'm always gonna be dealing with my weight people are never gonna see my value I'm always gonna have to be you know debating with people about my deserving being deserving of the love that Chris shows me on the internet or I always got to be trying to convince people of what I'm really going through or to really care about me. But don't none of that matter. That is not always going to be the way it is. Things change. 
seasons change what will go up will come down what's down will come up and so it's especially that's why i'm careful about the way that i treat people even when people have done me harm even when people deserve so much because of the way they have stalked me and the way they have harassed me and the way they have belittled me they deserve the worst i never wish bad on these people because you know why because i know god got me and i know the power of life and death is in your tongue what you say what you believe it'll be will so so what it will be so i'm gonna speak life over my situation and i just feel like sometimes you have to do whatever it takes to get your mind right and you have to do the right thing by people see sometimes you could be sitting around wondering okay well damn what's wrong with my life what's wrong with my situation how have you treated people what have you done to people if you're not doing nothing but sowing discord and sowing drama and sowing negativity and sowing disrespect so what you sow so yo wait what you sow so shall ye reap if you're sowing negativity, if you're sowing discord, if you're sowing disrespect, if you're mistreating people, but then you, but then the thing that's so crazy, how God do stuff, the way that you sow it ain't always the way you reap it. So you sowing it this way, but your health is failing. You sowing it this way, but your money ain't right. You sleeping with people's wives, but you just lost your job. So that's why you have to be careful like of your mind and you have to stand at the gate and guard your mind, guard your heart and get your mind right. If we can just get our mind right and get our mindset right first, everything else will follow. That's why God put our head up here and not at our feet. Because the body going to do what we do up here. So because I got this, this weight problem, that's because it's something up here. That I got to work on and I got to tackle. And this year, I'm declaring this year will be my... I will win with this fight over obesity and my obese mind. Because I ain't never seen... I ain't never been with a baddie. Y'all, I got to stay off of TikTok. I've never seen myself not big, but that don't mean that it can't be done. So I'm going to get my mind right. Mindset is everything. You change your mind, you change your world. You change your mind, you change your perspective. You change your mind, you could change your situation. You are more and greater than your circumstance. I know if you look around you, you can see all of the negative, but that don't mean that's where you got to stay. Be encouraged. Y'all, it's still January. It's still time. Do your vision board. Even if you do like an electronic, one of my girls um showed me an electronic vision board. I didn't even know they had such a thing. It's still time for you to manifest your dreams. Manifest your goals, okay? You told the wrong person your idea and that bitch done stole your idea. So what? Fuck them. You still can do it. They still can't do it like you did it. And let me tell you something. Somebody could start something before you start it. And when you get to it, you still do better because it was meant for you to do it. Can't nobody steal your blessing and your dreams and your vision if some if listen if they try because god already got that set up for you to win it's already written for you you to be the one that win can nobody steal that from you and if people you know what there are some people that are so talented and i wish there's a person right now that i want to talk to so bad but i can't do it because i don't trust them but i want to just talk to them and tell them if you would spend more time just being yourself your regular real self you got talent you don't gotta try to be nobody else you don't have to try to make it off of putting other people down 
your regular normal self can't be destined to be great but you so busy hating who you are envying other people and who they are that you can't even see your own potential mindset mindset matters girl get your mind right listen i'm gonna get my mind right i'm gonna get my mind right i'm gonna get my body right and i'm gonna keep talking about it i don't know what it is about <clears throat> y'all i've never had a person unsubscribe to me because of my trial hauls never once <clears throat> never had a person not even not one time but every time i get in this car and I talk about the truth. I'm telling the truth. Not one time have I gotten in here and lied. Y'all know I'm not I'm not a dishonest person. I tell my truth. Right? Listen to me. Get your mind right. Do whatever it takes to get your focus. You can do this. It's something right now. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're going through. But this has been on my heart. Like I can't hardly sleep about it. And I'm like, man, I don't want to get in here and talk about all this serious stuff because it don't help my views. When I get on here and I talk about encouraging words, people don't want to hear that. They want to hear me fighting with Chris or they want to see me wearing clothes that they think is ugly. They want to see all that. They don't want to see the real. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I love you guys. Those of you who show up and really support my channel and support my content and support me. Even if you give me feedback or something you don't like, you're always there for me. And for that, I appreciate you guys. Don't let nobody discourage you. Don't you ever give up. Never give up. And don't make excuses. Never. I Listen, I'm not going to make no excuses. It is what it is. This is what it is. I'm, I am what I am. But my circumstance isn't who I am. I'm not necessarily what I do. I am who I am. And no matter how much you cannot control me, I'm going to do what I want to do. And my life is not in your hands. Thank God you not God. Thank God God is grace. And his grace is sufficient for me. Because some of y'all, y'all don't give grace at all. At all do you give grace. That's why I thank God. Oh, and then you put comment. Oh, I thought you was a Christian. Thank God you not Jesus. Thank God you not the one. Like they say, on judgment day, Jesus ain't going to ask you about me. I love you, girl. Beauty is a state of mind, not body. My mind is stuck on gorgeous. What are you thinking? Get your tickets for the royal retreat, y'all. Please don't wait to the last minute. I cannot... I just talked to my coordinator. I cannot increase our band, okay? Our band, of our, our band, our booking, I can't increase it. So, I love you guys, but please don't wait to the last minute. At least go ahead and do your deposit. I'm going to be spending four days with you. We're going to be socially distancing. We're wearing our mask. We're going to have gifts and giveaways, and we're going to be right on the beach, and it's going to be life-changing. You don't want to miss it, and I don't know what I'm doing next year. A lot of people are like, oh, see you next year. I don't know what I'm doing next year, you know? Next year, I might just do what I should have did this year, <laughs> just take my Patreon. But listen, I love you guys. I'm finna go. I hope that you know that you matter. I hope that... You know that you can still do it. I hope that you know that it's not too late. I hope that you know that you can go forth and be great. Do not give up on yourself. I know it's hard. I know shit looks crazy right now. I know that there may be a situation that you're going through. You may got your car repossessed or you may be facing eviction or you may be facing a loss of a job or an illness or dealing with a sick parent. All of these things there's situations and circumstances that come to wear you out so that way it get, throws you off your game because your mind ain't right but if you can just put these block these these right here go i'm talking to myself you know that right but if we can just let me say we if we can just do this right here so where we can't see these holes on the side 
That's all we need to do. We can do it. I believe in you. Be encouraged. Go forth and be great. Thank you for giving me some grace and letting me be me. Thank you for showing up to my car chats because they mean so much to me. This is where I flourish because it gives me the opportunity to pour into you guys and for you guys to talk to me. Have an amazing week. Have an amazing day. Get you a pen and a piece of paper and write three things that you want to accomplish this year and watch them come to pass. I love you, girl, and I gotta go. Jesus ain't gonna ask you about me. <laughs>